guys, we're back here playing some NBA 2K19 My Team. And the other day, we did the best Galaxy Opal token reward players. And today, we're gonna do the best pink diamond reward players. We're gonna rank them one through 11. And with that said, let's hop right in to number 11 on our list. And number 11 is Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce is 6'7", which isn't great size for a wing. His stats are all right, he can shoot threes. He's got five Hall of Fame badges, no Hall of Fame limitless, and he's a terrible baited release and is a bad defender who can't speed boost. Stay away from this Paul Pierce, do not pick this card. Number 10 is John Stockton. John Stockton is a pretty good defender, but he's only 6'1". He can speed boost, he's got really high ball control. He has seven Hall of Fame badges and has Hall of Fame Dimer. Not an awful card, but only a 6-1 point guard, and there's a much better John Stockton in the auction house that you can get for like 20k. At number 9 is Jojo White. Jojo White is a 6-3 point guard, only 90 three-pointer, and can't really dunk the ball too well. His ball control and defense isn't as good as Stockton's, but he is a little bit faster, and he does have more Hall of Fame badges, which slightly edge him over Stockton. All the same, I wouldn't pick Jojo White or John Stockton. Number 8 is Dikembe Mutombo. Now I know Mutombo, I used to like this card, and a lot of people used to like this card, but the problem with this Dikembe Mutombo is that he's super dated, and he does what he does pretty well. He's 7'2", and he can block shots. He's got 98 block, and he's a really good rebounder, but that's all he can do. He's not particularly fast, and he only has five Hall of Fame badges. There's just a lot better cards you can pick up. There's better Amethysts you can pick up, and that's why you should stay away from this Dikembe Mutombo. At number seven is Sidney Moncrief. Now as we get into these last seven, the last seven are a lot more reusable than the first four. This Sidney Moncr Moncrief, the main problem with him is that he's a 6'3 shooting guard. I guess you can play him at point guard. He does have 92 ball control. That is probably where you'd want to play him. He's got pretty good stats. The problem is this card's strength is defending and he's 6'3", 180. So he's way too small to be an effective defender. With that said, he's got 13 Hall of Fame badges some good defensive badges not a horrible card there's just better cards you can pick up and number six is Chauncey Billups he is also 6'3 but he is a point guard he's got really good shooting stats I think he has a pretty nice release his ball control is great his defense isn't bad and he's pretty fast he's got 14 Hall of Fame badges pretty solid the best point guard you can get from the pink diamond token rewards so if you need a point guard badly and you like to play real point guards then pick up this Chauncey Billups from the pink diamond token market and number five is Tim Duncan now Tim Duncan is by no means a bad card but his release is terrible and his post moves are okay he has really good stats and posts but they're they don't feel good using them his three-pointer is 73 which is makeable but his release isn't good his dunks all right his defense is very, very solid. His rebound is very solid, but he's pretty slow. And he's only 6'11", he's 6'11", which is pretty big for a power forward, but he's too slow to play at power forward. So this Tim Duncan isn't an awful card, but he's not, you should pick him fifth when you're going through. And that's why he's down at number five on this list. And number four is Mark Eaton. And you know exactly what you're getting when you get Mark Eaton. Mark Eaton is 7'4". He can't really do much at all on offense but he's a pretty decent dunker, and he's a great defender. He's got 99 block, a great rebounder, and it's just big. I believe he has Hall of Fame defensive stopper, yep, and a Hall of Fame rim protector. He's a very big dude, and he's, a guy to, he's great at protecting the rim, blocking shots, and rebounding, but he's extremely limited. But if you want someone to block shots and grab boards, Mark Eaton's pretty much the best at doing just that. Number three is this Rick Barry. There's a stretch where a lot of people love this card, and they used him on their team quite a bit. He's a 6'7 wing, really good layup stats. 93 is pretty solid, good dunker. Can speed boost, pretty good defender. Just really solid all around card with a pretty nice release and seven Hall of Fame badges. Very, very solid wing that I would recommend picking up. Rick Barry is slightly edged out by this Grant Hill. Grant Hill is a fantastic card. He's great at layups. He's pretty got a pretty makeable three pointer. Great dunker, it's Grand Hill. He can speed boost, and he's a good defender. He's also super fast. This Grand Hill edges out Rick Barry because of the defense and the speed. And I think he is a slightly better card than Rick Barry, but you can't And at number one is this 98 Patrick Ewing. Patrick Ewing is a really nice card. He's got 98 post fade, really good layup. 
He's got 84-3, which is pretty solid for Patrick Ewing. Great dunking. His ball control is 65, which is an awful. Fantastic defender, fantastic rebounder, and not overly slow. He's got 12 Hall of Fame badges and really no weaknesses. The only weakness you could say is that his release is a little slow and isn't great. But still, the first player you should pick when you get to the pink diamond board. Is All right, guys, and that's going to be the video for today. I recommend when you do get to the pink diamond board, you only pick five of these cards. And the pink diamond cards, none of them are that great or impactful. So really, just pick the one you like the most and that you feel most comfortable with. Don't worry that much about which one is the best or which one has the best stats because there's better cards you can buy in the auction house. But anyways, let me know what you think of this list in the comments if there's any players you would move up or down. I'm trying to record a Market Crash Squad episode, which I'll try to release tomorrow, but the servers and the auction house are all screwed up, so I'm trying my best. And that's going to be the video for today. As always, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below what other videos you would like to see.